So the A5 Pro we just covered in the last video, and you will see that there's something that looks almost identical because the box is 100% identical. This is the A5 Pro CC. This is the one we were waiting for. This is the granddaddy of all e-ink smartphones, color and monochrome alike. There's no way to know this is an A5 Pro CC by looking at it, it just says A5 Pro. On the back, really small in the top left corner, right there, it says A5 Pro CC. And to show you a comparison between the A5 Pro, you'll see it just says A5 Pro. Again, if you're just joining us, we will do a full explanatory video on all of Hisense's devices in an upcoming video. For now, let us open this up for the first time on camera. I've never actually seen this device yet. We have seen the A5C and the A5 Pro, and this is the A5 Pro CC. This one is in color. Let's see what we're looking at. So we're gonna leave this device till the very end like we usually do, and look at the rest of the box first. So they do have their little plastic card they've been including in the devices on the new line. If you guys have any insight of what this says, let us know. After this video, we will use Google Lens, so pretty much know what it says after this video. You do have the A5 Pro user manual. If you guys lose your user manual, you can refer to this video. You can just go ahead and pause the video at any point in time if you want to read that. Like so. Put that off to the side. We have the USB wall charger. This is Canadian USA Japan spec. It is the single two prongs, uh, no ground. And this will not work in Australia, China, UK, etc. You will need to get a, an adapter or converter based on your electricity, whether it's 120, 220 volt, etc. You have some more documentation. This is mostly just stuff they need to put in the box for liability purposes and rules and regulations and whatnot, ownership, stamps of who owns the phone, etc. And we have the USB cable, same one as in the A5 Pro, USB-C. Actually, we'll leave that out for a second because we're gonna display everything on the table when we're done. And you have your SIM removal tool. Do not worry, this is not keyed in any way. It's not proprietary. It's just a piece of metal. You can use a paper clip, use the back of an earring, anything you want. And that's the entirety of the box. Now for the device itself. These are usually pretty hard to take out because they're pretty snug in these uh, plastic sleeves, but we will see. And already we are dealing with a gloss screen. So unlike the A5 Pro, which is actually using a matte screen protector, this is using gloss. So you can see it is highly reflective. Very, very reflective. You can see me in the shot right there, hello. Now, not only is the screen protector gloss, which a lot of people are saying, we'll just remove the screen protector. That's not the case because if you look here, the phone itself, the glass screen on the phone is full mirror. It's full gloss. So even if you remove the screen protector, it's going to be gloss. You will have to get a matte screen protector to put over top this device, or you're just going to be dealing with a reflective surface all day. And that's not what you want on e-ink. That really isn't. You have your fingerprint sensor on the back, flash package, camera. You have your volume up and down with the power button. You have your e-ink button and you have the uh, SIM micro SD that you use, uh, the tray that you use the removal tool with. Yes, we'll do a first time boot up. We know you guys get really mad at us when we don't do a first time boot up. You have a microphone up top. You have a microphone on the bottom with a USB-C speaker and a 3.5 mil headphone jack. This is using the same body as the A5 Pro and the A5C, so you will see a lot of similarities. We're just gonna skip over all this stuff so we can get to the actual meat and potatoes, if that's the saying, meat of the potatoes, something like that. So there it is, there's the color. And uh, again, a lot of you guys complain that we leave the glow light on, and we'll show you why. It's because when you turn the glow light off, this thing is very, very dark, and it's with its reflectivity, it's actually not the most pleasant experience to use uh, day to day. So you do need to actually up that glow light just a little bit 
to get some sort, you know, just, just kind of take the edge off a little bit. But this is the device in its entirety with all the stuff that comes with it. If you guys have any other questions, comments, or concerns, let us know. We will be doing a full review on this as well, of course. And more importantly, we're going to do some explaining because the A5 line of Hisense devices is incredibly difficult to understand, even with us. Some people in the studio are still a little confused as to what we are receiving day to day and the fact that these boxes are exactly identical in every way does not help the situation so stay tuned for a full review video for now this is an unboxing of the Hisense A5 Pro CC color e-ink smartphone for goodyreader.com this is Peter